Okay, Zachary here again. Man, I got a treat for y'all today. I got something to show y'all. It's very, it's very rare. It's really old. It's like maybe 42 years old. Now, well, it might not be 42. It might be older than that. Who knows? All I know is from 1977, it's in the original newspaper from the Dallas Morning News on the day that, well, not the day, but a week after Elvis, Elvis Presley died. Now, I'm about to show it, and it's all original. It's all original, so I just wanted to show you guys thought maybe y'all would enjoy seeing this piece of art. So let's get into it and I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, so here it is. Here it is. And it's from the Dallas Morning News. It's from Sunday, August 28, 1977. That's nearly a week or two after Elvis passed away. And to me, to have something like this... It really means a lot because, you know, Elvis is a really famous person. He's known all over the world. And, yeah. So, as you open it up, you see an article about Elvis. And the place that he was born. It's a little shotgun shack in Tupelo, Mississippi. It shows a picture of him in the army. It's a good picture, by the way. It shows him and Priscilla to Lisa Marie in 1968. It shows Elvis. And it shows a front shot view of Graceland. And it shows this one. It says, from his modest beginnings in a small house in Tupelo, Mississippi, which is that one. Elvis Presley sang and swiveled his way to success. The 1950s found a young Elvis left singing his version of rock and roll to the delight of the nation's youth and the concern of their parents. Now, back in the 50s, Elvis was really, was really big. He, well, in the early 50s, he wasn't that big. During like 1956, that was his break off year. That's when he started getting really big. And this little article here says, Presley entered the army, it's right there. Above left in 1958. His marriage to Priscilla Bouillou lasted left, less than five years, but the couple had a daughter, Lisa Marie. In recent years, Presley continued to perform the sold-out houses whenever he left his estate, which is Graceland, right there. Now, if you turn the page, there's a picture of Elvis with a Marsha Dimes girl. And this top left picture up here is Elvis and Colonel Parker in 1956. Or, 57, excuse me. 1957. And this one is Vernon, which is his father. Elvis is in the middle, and Gladys is on the far right. And that's a picture of them before he went into the army. Now, and this article says the private man. Really cool piece of newspaper here. Turn the page. Let's see, this is Vernon and Elvis after his mother Gladys passed away. And yeah, as you can see, Elvis is terribly heartbroken because you know his mother was his everything, and Vernon is just as sad as Elvis is. Picture below it is Elvis getting his arm 
put in a cast after playing a game of touch football. He broke his little bitty finger, his little pinky. So, broken little finger. And the picture below it is Ellis showed off one of the many vehicles he owned. I think this was like maybe a motorcycle. I'm not sure. It's from 1975. And boy, this one's a lucky lady here. Ooh. She got to kiss Elvis on the lips. Now, there's many women out there that would love to do that. Maybe do something else. I don't know. But, yeah. There's an article called The Legend. Yeah. Well, I mean, other than that, it's a really cool piece of history. As you turn it, you can see pictures of Elvis in concert. He's wearing a white jumpsuit. Blue one right there. Turn the other page. Next page. Let's probably turn it here. Turn the page. It's another article. There's Elvis in the 1956 recording in a Los Angeles studio. And there's Elvis with a hound dog after his biggest hit. Hound Dog became real famous. That's 1957. So, if you turn it, it's an article about all the movies he made. Now, Elvis starred in 33 movies, I believe. If I'm not correct, please correct me down in the comments. But this is Elvis and Jailhouse Rock, 1957. And below it, Elvis is in the Harem Scarum from 1965, and Love Me Tender from 1956, which was his very first movie, Love Me Tender. It's a great movie, by the way. You should go watch it. And right here is Elvis and Charo. That's 1969. It's a year after he did the comeback special. So, Charo's a great movie, too. I recommend it. All his movies are great. Turn it. Shows his fans. It shows buttons and Elvis on stage in Mississippi in 1956, and the fans passing out over Elvis's terrible death. And up here is the farewell. It's Sonny West and Jerry Sewing and Joe Esposito carrying the tomb of Elvis Presley. We're carrying the coffin. Sorry. Man, look at all them flowers. Turn it to the back. As you can see, there's a lot of flowers. And there's a guitar and a sign that says, Rest in Peace, Elvis. There's a fan that's terribly devastated by the death of Elvis and of course his death was a big part in the world and the music industry and yeah overall it's just a nice piece of history there I hope y'all enjoyed this little video and please like comment subscribe for more thanks for watching and have a good night.